with only one question. If you could help your community today, what would you do? I work around issues of HIV, gender-based violence, issues of children, those children that are on the street. And if I were to choose who really I would start with, it would be children that I need. To me, the Ugandan community today has surrendered. The majority of the Ugandans today believe they owe the nation a living. So if there be anything anybody today could do to a local person, a community person, to me it is to work on their attitude and tell them that your economic empowerment, your financial independence lies squarely with you. Priority on my list would be in the northern part of Uganda. So you find the effects of the war is kind of cropping up at this point. Uh, you find the children out there who were former abductees. Mm. They are kind soldiers. of failing to fit into the community. They have been traumatized and uh, I think yes, they need a lot of help. The most important people in my life are women. My mother, my wife and my daughters. And I always feel, feel very hurt if I see the girl child suffering or in any way disadvantaged and I have always taken it upon myself where I can to help. Also it's, it's literacy because um, the Abzanaf, you're an educated child at Kenya Village. So we believe that as beneficiaries of education in these communities, we should actually go back and give the communities. Airtel sought out to surprise some of its premium customers by pledging to partner with them in any of their community outreach endeavors. I'm in particular interested in one particular home setting that, that is in Kavale district. I've been moved to do something as me. I would still talk of the Teso region. From the time when Teso lost the cows, Teso have gone into a slumber. These fellows, once you go back and get them energized, they move. They give you results overnight. I remember some time back I visited uh, one of the communities in the northern part of Uganda. I think it would be an area where I feel I would really, really give a helping hand there. Recently I came into contact with a girl-child orphanage in Kabale. So I thought this would be one of such a good project to improve the quality of these young uh, orphan children. The main start has been a community library uh, located in Busesa, where we provided so far a thousand books. So we feel that if we provide a literary uh, textbooks, other reading materials, the kids will be able to perform better and with education they'll actually overcome some of the challenges they have. Airtel had uh, what you had to say, what you had to request, and they have said they want to give a hand put some finance into uh, what you're doing. Really? Yes. Oh. That your wish has been granted. <laughs> so they're going to give you financial help. I will not put figures, but they're giving you financial help. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> they should have told me. Why should I have been surprised? Look at me, I'm not crying instead. <laughs> That's a beautiful, beautiful news you brought for me. I don't even see the happiness in you. They're giving you, they're giving you, no, 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 no. After the pledge to partner, we took to implement the pledges. Our first stop was in Padere district, where David Watman led us to Friends of Orphans. Our work basically is we do rehabilitation, reintegration and empowerment of uh, those who were abducted, the children who were abducted, and uh, child mothers. Where Ricky Richard Anua is helping rebuild these former child soldiers into acceptable members of the community and in turn empowering them with skills. I studied in front of the for six months. Okay. Six months. After six months, I asked for more study, if possible. So they take me to Rascoco, Rascoco Comprehensive College. We're here today with 
whatever we promised as Airtel to bring to Berlin. It didn't uh, look real, but uh, I think now you can clearly see it's something which is real. I would say thank you very much to Airtel and please support the community. There are people out there in the community who need some kind of assistance. From Padere, we moved with Jeffrey to Iganga, where we found the Chitakule Foundation and its community library, where they are hell-bent on providing increased literacy in Busesa village. Uh, the foundation has two main areas it's focusing on, mm. education and health. Okay. Now, this library is a nuclear yes. library. So, so we want to expand, especially the e-library, how yeah. e readers and all these things. And in this partnership, we offered a hand in restocking this library. Can you read for me? Here. Yeah. I thank the Airtel company for the work they have done on bringing something for us. Have you ever used a computer before? Yeah. Do you know what a computer is? Yeah. Our kids wanted to not at least look at a computer, but you have solved most of our problems. From Iganga, we moved on to Kabale to meet Ruth with her Grace Villas, as recommended by Bruce Chereri. This is the place I told you about. Ruth is changing the lives of these girls and turning them into self-sustaining citizens. Together with Bruce, we're delivering to you. Well, we're excited. We don't know what you've brought, but we're... <laughs> so let's not wait any longer. I admire your efforts. It's wonderful to see all this joy mm -hmm. happening here. As you can see, they are wonderful. Wonderful little girls, and Ruth has managed to build this loving home mm. in such a short, short time. She's a wonderful, remarkable person, exceptional. I wish we had more Ruth. <laughs> Always, every day, pray for people who support. Yeah, yeah, so you are with our prayers. Thank you so yeah, much. We love Thank you. you so much. While still in Kabal, we caught up with Dora who led us to the school that is taking kids off the streets of Kabali and transforming them into hopeful members of the community. It's such a great story, such a great day of my life. I am so excited. Okay. Here, we partnered in building this learning structure. It has officially handed over this block of three classrooms that is a prefab building, it's a prefab home. These are the most durable homes ever, and it takes less than a week to put up. Since we, if we get at least one class there for P7, yeah, I think we are able to make it 100% all in first grade. And finally, we caught up with Charles Ochichi during one of his outreach business clinics in Amuria. Training that will make you grow faster. And in entrepreneurship, we have learned that you should be a consolidating entrepreneur who should not be an entrepreneur of fear. From the two million I had, I am now growing to five million. I've seen that Airtel is, going, is giving me much encouragement to continue with my business. That's why I'm saying Airtel and Enterprise Uganda, thank you very much. May you continue with your work all over the country to guide us mostly women. As Airtel, we acknowledge that we belong to a community and therefore feel that it is our responsibility and mandate to share in every aspect of the lives of the people in our communities.